I'm Myrna Orsini and I am the founder of Monarch Sculpture Park here in, we call it Tenaino, although we're on the outskirts. All of this could not have happened had I not been a child of the state. So this is my gift. I started this project after attending symposiums, stone symposiums, in Europe and I saw at those events the places that had room for the artists to work as well as to live and space for them to present their work once it was created and I thought why can't I do that in Washington State my home state One of the most delightful things about creating this park has been the people who have come and visited. And at the first event, um, an elderly gentleman was sitting down by the creek. And I stopped and spoke with him. And he told me, he said, I've lived in Rainier all of my life. I've never been more than 50 miles away from it. I've never been to an art event. And I'm so glad I came. And I thought, yes, that's what the park is about. It's about reaching out and touching people and allowing them to immerse themselves in art. And that can take a lot of forms, sculpture, dance, uh, painting, um, ceramics, quilting. We've even had a quilting show here. But it, it enriches their lives. And in so doing, it enriches ours too. My partner Ashley had uh, discovered the park. She's a caregiver and had brought a lot of her um, people she works with out here uh, to enjoy the grounds and relax and kind of enjoy the tranquil uh, space. And so we started coming out here occasionally and then one day we came out and there was a closed sign. We said, what, it's closed, that's horrible. first got here, uh, the park had been closed for a little while. Uh, Myrna Orsini was uh, no longer able to care for the grounds all by herself and was looking at other options of having the park move forward. And a lot of things were overgrown, a lot of artists had taken their work out of the park. And so it was in need of someone to caretake for it and look after the sculptures and kind of help figure out where the park can move forward. Um, and so uh, my partner Ashley and I uh, wanted to come here and uh, see, you know, offer our help, see what we could do. Um, at first we were like, well, we could just have our friends come out and uh, you know, do like a, a workshop or something and clear the grounds uh, on a weekend or something. And then a few months later, uh, Myrna emailed me asking if I would want to come move here and uh, be a resident on the grounds and caretake for the place.
I'm a ceramic artist, and so having studio space is really important. And uh, living in such a beautiful space is um, something I, I don't take for granted and, and really appreciate every single day that I'm here. And so having the chance to live here and create work here and help uh, make the space beautiful again, um, it's a really magical space. And if you get a chance to come here and explore, you'll really um, feel how special it is here and how much love has been put in. Volunteers are fantastic, whether it's working on the grounds or doing some office work or helping grant, with the grant writing, um, getting the word out about the park, um, bringing their friends and family here, and many people do that and they come back um, many times over the years. So it's uh, spreading the word that we exist. Coming to a place that has art and so much beautiful nature in it isn't something you come across every day, but as an artist, having a space set aside for art specifically that's not in some window somewhere, or um, having it in a really reachable place for the community is, is really important. Uh, Myrna had created the park as a space, as a gift for the community, and she's worked so hard and dedicated um, over 20 years of her life to creating this space and curating it making it a spot um, that she hopes people will be able to come and visit and just, you know, escape the day-to-day -day and really enjoy themselves and maybe learn something about art in the wilderness as they go. And um, that's what we want to try and keep doing here at the park. And so we're hoping to get more people involved and the more people that can come here and, and learn about the park and be part of it, um, the better. Life is what you make it. And if you surround yourself with wonderful people and great artwork, you'll find the joy that you need to sustain yourself.